going on everybody it's your boy to slap training welcome back guys to some forza motorsport 5 and today we're going to do another drifting on a budget build we're going to keep this up every single tuesday guys so tuesday is now the new drifting on a budget day and today we're going to be working with a budget of 45 thousand dollars so it's not too much and also too i have my man destroyers he's gonna be doing the same kind of build forty five thousand dollars we're gonna meet you guys back here at the end of the video for a nice little edit so make sure you guys come on back for a nice little tandem run between us both using the same setup forty five thousand dollars so we're gonna start this off i'm actually looking at my own damn car so i'm not looking to do that i want to buy a brand new car here so we have forty five thousand dollars right now to play with um it's a decent amount and already you know i'm thinking about um you know the eight sixes the supras uh you know the crx's stuff like that cars that you know are really not too expensive but you can put some money into them so um what else we got here we have possibly a 370 even a 350 would be actually really nice to build. Uh, gives us with quite a bit of money, but I'd like to maybe get something a little bit higher up. Possibly even, ooh, the 97 GTR. That's a possibility right now. We could even do, ooh, okay, okay. Um, damn, y'all. Do I want to do the R33 on this? Do I want to do it? And I'm really debating right now. I'm really debating. I'm sorry, not the R33. What the hell am I talking about? The R32, I'm sorry. But um, I'm really debating right now if I want to use the R32. And you know what? I think I'm going to on this. I'm going to pick one up. Now, we're going to get out our handy-dandy calculator, gentlemen. And shit, I don't even know where my phone is. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop this up here. Cal uh, calculator, $45,000 right now. And with the price, oh my god, my calculator's been screwing up right now. $45,000, we don't want any of the, oh, maybe we do want a paint job, hold on, let's, let's have a look at some designs right now, sir, show me the catalog, you know what I'm saying, um, designs, what do we got, not much, um, we got some nice little replica paints there, I like that actually, um, we have a nice little tribute, Brian O'Connor, that might, uh, man, if it was an R34, I'd put it on, respect to Paul and everything like that, it's just, if it was an R34, 100%, I'm liking this actually. I'm liking this little racing paint. Um, I'm certain this is a replica paint job. So if you guys do know what this is from, let me know please in the comment section below. We're taking away $30,000. That leaves us with a total of $15,000 to work with. Now, from my experience with this car, I found it really, um, really you know, ass this tight. It really just wants to kind of Nissan just Skyline stay GTR where it's at, not really respect. move out too much and not really being able to spin tires too much. Now that's just from my own experience. Um, I could be wrong to be completely honest, but we're going to have a look here and find out. Um, okay. So we have 15 grand to work with right now. I'm really hoping that it's going to be enough to make what we're going to want to do here. Now, right off the bat, we're going to be getting our suspension we've we've already learned our lesson gentlemen this is what season three now we got this down pat so that's two thousand fifty dollars right there and that's actually not too bad i remember in forza four i think it was like five grand or something like that so really leaves us with a nice chunk that leaves us with twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars to work with now we're gonna put on some of the strut packages here so this fourteen hundred we still have just under thirteen thousand so we're gonna throw you know what actually Maybe we're going to hold off on that for right now. That was that was kind of iffy on that. We're going to purchase the race weight reduction this time. Apparently last time for my last video, uh, you guys were letting me know that I didn't actually even purchase the damn thing. So I was kind of disappointed about that. Um, but we're going to make sure we put it on there. And in terms of um, aspiration, I want to make sure I have enough money to do what I want with this. Now, obviously, can't do the V8 swap. $26,000. That's way too much damn money. Um, and what am I thinking? This is a, this is a single turbo already built into the damn car. What the hell am I talking about right now? All right. Sorry. Twin turbo. Damn. I ain't even ready for this bitch. Hold up. All right. So $5,400. Now that's going to bring us up to 425 horsepower. Personally, more than enough in my personal opinion on this car. Um, I think we're going to put this on here. Just, we're going to, oh, the diff. We got to make sure we get the diff too. We're going to chance this here. $5,400 leaves us, leaves us with $5,200. So 
we're going to go right away and put in this differential. I do not want to make the same mistake twice like I did last time. That's $2,250. So we have 2250. Brings us down to just under $3,000, guys. That's not a lot of money by any means. And I don't know what I want to do on this thing. Um... Hmm. We're gonna do, I think, one piece for the engine component. And I may get away with two of these. Oh, okay. Um, just under five. Oh, you know what? We should do actually. We're gonna put on maybe a set of rims, gentlemen. I always love doing, you know, something to do with appearance, but I never have the damn money. Um, I I may take a guess at this and say that it will. Uh, you know what? I don't want to chance it. I don't. But I'm not too sure here now We're gonna probably want a nice set of tires on this maybe a little bit wider I don't really see it being an issue to be completely honest man. I'm going in circles right now I don't know what the hell to pick um, We got the suspension we got the race weight we got the diff what else do we really need on this? Um, I Don't know gentlemen. I don't know you guys are probably yelling at me right now on the screen all right, um, we may go with the strut package. You know what? Let's do it. We're going to go with the strut package on this. This is going to make the car nice and stable when we start throwing it. That leaves us with just over $1,500 right now. And I think I'm going to try and throw on an exhaust um, upgrade on this if I can. Oh, yeah, we're going to have enough here. So $1,350 goes into the pot now. I'm pretty sure that I've got everything that I need. I'm almost 100% on that. So that leaves us with $200. Again, just enough for some gas and some beer. Gentlemen, never forget the beer to the track. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Don't do that. Only fours a track. You know what I'm saying? The only, only the fours a track. Ah, all right. Got my own beer open. You know what I'm saying? So in terms of this here, we're going to be doing um, some paint next, actually. Hold on now. What the... Okay, okay. All right, so we're going to hit up the paint. We're going to just... Oh. We ain't going to do anything, guys. We got locked white rims. I don't know if I'm happy about that, to be honest. You know what? I'm not happy about that. Hold on. We're going to have to get a new damn design on here quick. Um, we're going to search for... Oh, I like the blue, actually. The blue is nice. And you know what? We're going with the blue. I like the blue on that. Hell yeah. Probably just downloaded the man's same paint twice. Go and follow this man. He makes some nice stuff. You know what I'm saying? A little self-promotion for you right there, sir. All right. So here we are. R32. Looking as sexy as can be. We got the paint job on here as well, too. I know a lot of you guys sometimes ask me. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to drift this by itself right now with no tune. I know a lot of you guys were saying I should start doing that. So we're going to do that. We're going to take it to the hammerhead section on Top Gear. See how she rides. Um... What we're going to do, actually, we do the whole section here. But before we do this, though, I'm going to make sure my wheel's plugged in. So I will see you guys back here on the track with the wheel camera, TX Thrustmaster racing wheel for the Xbox One. See you guys back here in a second. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Slap Train. Welcome back, guys. We're here waiting to run right now at the R32. And uh, something funny happened, actually. I was just about to hit the record button, and it clued into me that... This car came stock all-wheel drive, so uh, essentially what I had to do was dip into some uh, pocket change, I guess you could say, and rear-wheel drive swap this. I didn't want to scrap the video because I did want to do this car, so we have just made the budget up from forty-five to $50,000. So I can already see the comments right now. I'm going to post the video as a forty-five. Eh, I, don't, I don't know if I want to do $50,000 budget or forty-five k and watch all the comments happen, but... I don't know. I'll see when I post it on an actual posting day on Tuesday. But uh, yeah, so right now we're going to be running with this. Um, honestly, I think that we're going to do okay. Um, we have quite a bit of horsepower to the wheels. 450 right now. So, I mean, we have enough. We really do. And I think this is really going to do well. Cheers, gentlemen. Okay. Yeah, that's Bud Light Lime, guys. What's good? Tastes delicious. I don't really give a shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Alright. So. Oh, okay. This thing's got some power. I did not expect that. 
We're in third gear too. Now, I chose not to go with any of the gearing setups on this. Um, just because, you know, I felt that the gears were going to be okay for what we were going to be doing. Obviously, you know, if we were going to be doing this as an actual drifting car, we would want for, you know, some of the f Formula D sections and stuff like that. We'd obviously want transmission, but for what we're doing, I figured we'd be able to slide, have fun with this without the use of any kind of racing transmission. And really, I mean, it's just holding nice even without anything. So, I've been pretty happy. Now, this is the section that we're going to be running today. Hammerhead section here on Top Gear. It's a little bit more of an intermediate section, almost too kind of closer to a harder section to perfect. I think we held that nicely, to be honest, though. So, after that run, a um, few things I can notice with the car. One, it is a little bit prone to oversteering. Um, also, as well, too, I feel that the rear end could use a little bit of uh, fine-tuning just in terms of maybe loosening it up a little bit but kind of stiffening the front end. Um, the tire pressure, I think, is okay where it's at, so we won't really need to do anything. Now, it looks like I already have a transmission or it's able to allow me to do my final drive. Now, that's, that's really helpful for me, to be honest, because now I can kind of move this a little bit more to speed because I felt that the gears could have used a little bit more stretch in them. Now in terms of the camber, we were getting a little bit of oversteer. I think I can control that with the wheel though as long as I'm okay being nice and steady. Uh, we're going to tighten up the rear end just a little bit, bring down the camber. Um, I think we can hold some decent angle on this so I figure we'll do a little bit more toe out than usual and we're going to uh, put in this caster to around 6. Now 6 is my usual caster. Um, you know what? I really just tuned according to what I know and what I've known to actually work. So, obviously, you know, it's common sense, a lot of it, you know, tuning things to make it stiffer, looser, stuff like that. Your ride height plays a big role as well, too. Center of gravity, all that important things. Now, rebound stiffness, I'm thinking I'm going to go a so little bit softer for the front and a little bit more stiffer in the rear for a nice little cushion. Same thing as well, too, for the front and rear. Uh, we have nothing on that. Braking pressure we didn't touch. And the diff we are going to lock to 100%. Now this, if I'm not mistaken, should be a perfect build, guys. It should be. That's that's the plan anyway. So let's, uh, let's have another look at this here. We're going to do a quick little lap. We're going to hit this little high-speed corner. Oh, my God. We're going to be a pylon master right now. I feel that the gearing has really helped out a lot in terms of making sure that I get that little extra boost out of each gear. There we go. Ah, we got that oversteer again. So rear end or the front end. I think I need to loosen the tire pressure. A little bit more than what it is. We're going to put a little bit more speed on that. We're going to adjust the front camera a little bit less. More rear. Um, I think we can go higher with the toe out, to be honest with you, and a little bit more front caster. Tighten up the springs. See if that plays any difference in what we're doing. I think it will. Um, should I do the other spring as well, I think? You know what? We, we will do the other spring. Little fine tuned section on that should be good. Then that should give us a solid little build. Now we're gonna go. Where the hell are we? Here? Ah, okay, I see what we're doing. Alright. Let's leave this place. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. Let's get the hell out of here. I feel like we're spinning in mud. Oh boy, yeah, we almost hit that. Now, I am in cockpit view this time. I figured it would be a nice change to do cockpit view only for this build. Um, and as well, too, we're going to be starting something new for next build. Now, <clears throat> this is the first time that I've ever done this for any drifting on a budget, but I'm going to be now allowing one gifted part. Now, it could be anything and everything located on any car. So it could give me access to maybe a bumper. Oh, my goodness. 
Could have given me access to maybe a bumper. I have shot this so weird right now. Wasn't even paying attention. But yeah, it could be a bumper, it could be tires, um, it could be a special item, so maybe like drag tires, or you know, the thickest tire length, or anything of that nature. Could also be rims, it could be body kits, um, suspension, drive lines, engine, anything. It could be engine swaps, and I think it's just going to give an extra added feature to the build and allowing you guys to kind of, you know, be more involved in the build. So I think that's going to go really well. Oh my god, I need to it. Overall, though, what I'm feeling about this car, I'm really happy with this car. Um, I feel that it's really just kind of a really easy car to slide from what we've done to it. And I mean, I thought that this was going to be a lot stiffer in the rear end, but I'm going to probably be making one of my own of these and working some cash into this because I am really happy with the way this holds. Now, it does have a tendency when you do start to get you know, a little bit under RPM, the tires will just stick to the ground. Which is understandable, and you won't be able to go anywhere in terms of spinning tires. So, we have this one last section, and then we're gonna pretty much call it a day, I think. Oh boy. Don't hit the rear end! Oh my goodness! I really need a clutch on that, man. Finish high on the outside. Oh, we're hitting a little bit of grass. It's all good, though. Okay, okay. Alright. That went a little bit better than I expected it would. Oh! I'm gonna go in real tight on this. Oh my god! Okay. So we just about trash this damn thing right there. I'm gonna hold this. See if I can get it. Ah, we're not even close. Never mind, never mind. Gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Make sure you guys leave me a comment in the bottom for the part that you guys want to see get used for the next build. As I said, it could be anything. So make sure you guys leave me your comments. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you guys slap that like button as usual, guys. Thank you very much for stopping by. It's your boy, Slap Train. Make sure you guys come on back right here, right now, for the edit with me and Destroyers drifting the same $45 slash $50,000 bill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> The Jabota Slap Train, I'm out. Peace. Bitches in the club, pop me in the whip. All my bitches in the club, pop me in the whip. All my bitches in the club, pop me in the whip. All my bitches in the club, pop me in the whip. Pop. Bitches in the club, I mean the whip, I mean the whip